Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In order to prevent China from owning TSMC, the West has done everything possible. According to Bloomberg, some US officials have privately expressed concerns to the Dutch government about the consequences of China's attack on Taiwan. However, lithography machine manufacturer ASML assured Dutch officials that corresponding machines, including the most advanced extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, can be remotely disabled. As we all know, TSMC is a major customer of ASML, with more than 80 EUV lithography machines, accounting for more than half of all EUV shipped by ASML. In other words, once changes occur in the Taiwan Strait, ASML can completely paralyze TSMC. What's even more horrifying is that many chip manufacturing companies in mainland China have also purchased ASML's lithography machines, which means that China will also face huge risks. ASML Lithography Machine Speaking of TSMC, everyone is definitely familiar with it. It is the world's leading wafer foundry. Especially in the high-end manufacturing process, it is at the forefront of the world, almost alone in seeking defeat, and in a monopoly position. It is no exaggeration to say that about 90% of the world's most advanced chips are produced by TSMC. Relevant data shows that among the world's top 10 wafer foundry revenue rankings, TSMC alone has a market share of over 60%. From the perspective of chip process technology, TSMC's revenue can be divided into below 7 nanometers and above 7 nanometers. Generally speaking, the lower the chip's manufacturing process, the more advanced the technology level. As the world's most advanced wafer foundry manufacturing company, TSMC currently generates most of its revenue from relatively advanced processes at 7 nanometers and below. Moreover, TSMC is too important to Taiwan province. Let's talk about data. The total market value of Taiwan's semiconductor industry in 2021 is about 700 billion yuan. Among them, TSMC's total revenue reached 1.59 trillion new Taiwan dollars, equivalent to approximately 357.75 billion new Taiwan dollars, which is exactly half of Taiwan's total semiconductor output value. Although TSMC occupies a dominant position in technology and market, in the final analysis, TSMC is just a foundry. Without advanced equipment, what can it produce? As the saying goes, it's hard for a clever woman to make a meal without rice. When it comes to equipment, we have to mention the Dutch ASML company. ASML, a global lithography machine giant, can be said to have a complete monopoly on the upstream industry in the semiconductor industry. Data for 2021 shows that ASML alone holds a 75% share, while Japan's Nikon and Canon have market shares of 13% and 6% respectively. Especially in the field of EUV lithography machines, it is the leader. EUV lithography machines are powerful tools for manufacturing process chips below 7 nanometers and are also extremely complex internally. It is reported that it weighs 180 tons, has 40,000 bolts, more than 4,000 lines, more than 2 kilometers of hose lines, and more than 100,000 precision parts. A single shipment requires 40 containers, 20 trucks and 3 Boeing aircraft. 90% of the parts involve more than 5,000 suppliers from more than 40 countries. For example, the lens is from Zeiss of Germany, the special composite materials are from Japan, the precision machine tools are from Sweden, the control software and light source are from the United States, and all of them are top manufacturers in the industry. More importantly, during the chip manufacturing process, if a traditional DUV lithography machine is used, up to hundreds of units need to be exposed on a wafer. But EUV lithography machines are different. Due to the use of extreme ultraviolet light source, only one exposure is enough, thus greatly improving production efficiency and accuracy. Just ask if it smells good. It really smells great. You want it, right? Sorry, 
It costs 120 million US dollars. And it doesn't mean that you can buy it if you have money. Even the world's major chip companies Intel, TSMC, Samsung, and SK Hynix have to queue up to buy them. Because of this, if lithography machines are the crown jewel of the human semiconductor industry, then ASML is equivalent to the manufacturer holding the brightest pearl. U.S. Control of ASML However, since more than 50% of ASML's shares are controlled by American capital, ASML itself has no control. In other words, ASML is also stuck by the United States. It will sell to whomever the United States says it can sell, and it cannot sell to whomever it cannot sell. Not only that, ASML also has to listen to the United States on many major decisions. For example, the United States can put pressure on ASML through laws and policies, and can only export corresponding photolithography machines to specific countries or regions. Moreover, it is clearly stated how many nanochips a photolithography machine can only produce. For another example, recently some US officials privately expressed concerns to the Dutch government about the consequences of mainland China's attack on Taiwan. What do you think, brother? After receiving such concern from the United States, Asma immediately expressed his loyalty. Brother, don't worry, I have the ability to remotely control semiconductor manufacturing companies' lithography equipment and paralyze them instantly. In other words, no matter how powerful TSMC is, as long as ASML makes a little move in the background, the lithography machine will stop working and the production line will immediately stop. Mainland China wants to get TSMC, but in the end it is just an empty shell. Not only TSMC, but also many chip manufacturing companies in mainland China have purchased ASML's lithography machines, which means that China will also face huge risks. I have to say, this move is really damaging. Let's just say that not only ASML, but also almost all large-scale foreign imported information equipment has such threats and hidden dangers. Take Japan's high-end precision machine tools as an example. Not only do you need to report to the manufacturer what you use the machine tool to manufacture, but even moving the machine requires the consent of the machine tool manufacturer. There's no way, it's just such a disgusting overlord clause. It's just that ASML was exposed in advance. Of course, it exposed not only technical secrets, but also political secrets. However, taking a step back, even if ASML really controls the lithography machine remotely, mainland China will not be unable to manufacture chips. Because domestic high-end EUV lithography machines are also being conquered in full swing. For example, the Changchun Institute of Optics, Fine Mechanics and Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences is conquering the key technology of extreme ultraviolet lithography, while Tsinghua University and Beijing Huashu Precision Technology are responsible for the duplex workpiece stage system. It is reported that domestic lithography machines are currently capable of manufacturing chips around 28 nanometers. Although there is a gap compared with foreign countries, high process chips can also be manufactured using multiple exposure technology. The Kirin chip in Huawei Mate 60 Pro mobile phone is a strong proof. Huawei also publicly revealed that the chips in this mobile phone are stacked on the basis of 7 nanometers. In other words, China has broken through the manufacturing technology of 7 nanometers chips. More importantly, once China's photolithography machine technology develops, it means that the price of cabbage is not far away. By then, ASML may not even have time to cry. As for TSMC, don't worry too much. ASML wants to use the method of paralyzing the lithography machine to threaten the mainland's process of liberating Taiwan. It is really ridiculous.